Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another recipe video for you. Y'all have been loving my recipe videos lately and so as long as you keep loving them, I will keep on making them. Today I have a slow cooker recipe and it's one of my favorite slow cooker recipes. It is taco chicken bowls. This is one of those recipes that you don't have any prep work for. You just put everything in the slow cooker and at the end of the day, your dinner is all ready for you. As usual, I will have the recipe pulled up so you can screenshot it if you'd like and then we will get on into this recipe. You will need four to five chicken breasts, two cans of black beans, two cups of corn, one and a half cups of salsa, one tablespoon minced garlic, one tablespoon chili powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one bunch of cilantro, a quarter cup of shredded cheese, and rice. You're gonna start out by draining and rinsing your cans of black beans, and then you'll just start adding in all of your ingredients into your slow cooker. And I like to use frozen chicken just because that's the most convenient for me, but if you have fresh chicken, it will work perfectly as well, so just whatever you have. And then after that, you're going to add in your corn, your black beans, your salsa, your garlic, and all of your spices. Now, the one tip I would give for this is do not over add on your cayenne pepper. My husband did this once and I think he added in like a whole teaspoon of cayenne pepper and both my husband and I love spicy food and it was even like pretty spicy for us. So just be careful when you add in your cayenne pepper. We have three small boys at home and the quarter teaspoon is not spicy for them at all, but if you start to add more than that, then you're going to get a spicy dish. So just be aware of that. You'll go ahead and add about a quarter cup of water just to give it a little bit extra moisture. And then once you have all your ingredients in there, you're going to go ahead and give it a good stir. Make sure that everything is very well incorporated and then cook it for either three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low. And once it's been cooking all day and all of your chicken is completely cooked, you're going to go ahead and shred up your chicken. I just like to use two forks to do this, but you can do it however you'd like. At this point, you want to add in your chopped up cilantro. If you don't care for cilantro, you can take this out. My family just loves it, so we definitely love to add it in. Then just give that a really good mix, top it with your cheese, and then at that point, I just put the lid back on and I start cooking my rice. Once your rice is done cooking, go ahead and give your shredded chicken a good stir and then you're ready to dish it up. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It is one of my family's favorites and I love it because it's a slow cooker recipe and in the fall I love using slow cooker recipes. They are just so convenient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are not already and I will see you in my next video.